That's right, the hose. And by the way, any hose would do. That was the unwritten rule. I don't care where you were in the neighborhood. If you're thirsty, you could go to your neighbor's hose and drink out of it. That's what we had. <laughs> hose are there to be drunk from. Back in the day, you sucked it up. Not now. You ever seen hoses nowadays? Buy a new hose. You see what it says? Not fit for human consumption. They say that. Don't drink out of the hose. Can't use the water out of the hose to drink anymore. Apparently, it was cutting into the bottled water profits. <laughs> I think all the bottled water people own the hose industry, because I'm sorry, my brother, but if you ever go to a bottled water plant, guess what they're filling the bottles up with? A hose. <laughs> You don't care, you're just falling for it. Been wussified. A little bit, this is gonna be empty. I'm gonna cap it all up, and then I'll sell you a bottle of air. <laughs> no, this is bottled air. It's not like that cruddy air that just hangs around the atmosphere. <laughs> 250. <laughs> yeah. You gotta remember who we were and what we were. Good laugh. Just follow the rest of the people, though, if you could. <laughs> Got like the lunatic guy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. But now, now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I mean, I am a comic, been doing it many, many, many years, almost 20 years now. And the entire time that I did my comedy, I am, as I came out on stage, out of the closet years ago and admitted that I'm a Christian. <laughs> I admitted it to the whole world. And yet, even when I started in comedy many, many years ago, I was always a Christian, but I was in comedy clubs, and so I never used any uh, curse words. I've always been curse-free, never used any gratuitous sexual references, because I've always felt that uh, creativity is funnier than crude, and I always wanted to use words that were just normal words that could create laughter. That's the way I've always been. And as a Christian, it was just not something I was allowed to do. You know, Christians grow up, we're not supposed to curse, and that's good. That's good that we, you watch your mouth. But the problem is, it slips out now and again, because you're human. Human. And sometimes we don't even give ourselves that much. See, that's the point I'm trying to make. I wish we were more real to people that don't believe like us. Maybe they'd actually find us interesting and compelling because we're real with them. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not fair that we don't have curse words. <laughs> Christians should have their own curse words. Because I don't care how holy you are, you slam your hand in a car door, something's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> 